When I wrote Beach House Memories, it was completely different. It was 13 years later from when I first got involved with Sea Turtles. I call it the trilogy 10 years in the making, the trilogy that I didn't know I was writing. When I wrote The Beach House, and it was my first New York Times hit, it was exciting for my career, but it also greenlit my ability to continue writing stories set against nature. I became a turtle volunteer, and it, it changed not just my career, but my entire life. I didn't know my interest in turtles would be a, a passion that would be lifelong. I still am a turtle lady. This is a, a saga of a woman and her family. It starts with Kara. Her name is Coretta named after the loggerheads. And it's her story of return in the first book, and it's a strong mother-daughter relationship. But her mother, Lovey, embodies what is best about a Southern womanhood, I think. I drew all my themes from what I learned from the turtles, the nesting saga itself. And it changed how I wrote every book since. The second book was when, it's called Swimming Lessons, and that was when this aquarium started, the Sea Turtle Hospital. But that was a whole new arena. So I jumped in and I was very moved by the resilience of sea turtles when they're injured. Again, the human parallel of a woman's resilience. So this is a story of a woman's passion, her passion for sea turtles and her passion for this man, a married woman with two children falls in love for the first time. So it's a story about people, the loves, the lives, the losses, the reconciliations. Readers will be able to enter the world and see the turtles through the eyes of characters who know them well and are passionate about them. People have asked if it's over, and I don't think so. After Beach House Memories, I had thought perhaps the trilogy was finished, but now people are saying, you know, what, what, what happened with Kara next? We want to continue. So the Beach House is for rent. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I, I definitely am writing another book.